Nine hours a day. How many days a week do you do this? Six. Six days a week? Yeah. You don't have a day off for golf? <laughs> what kind of doctor are you? You don't take Wednesdays off for golf? <laughs> My off is on Friday. You're off on, but that's your holy day, isn't it? As yeah. Muslims, your holy day is Friday. Friday. <laughs> but what if somebody has an emergency? Will you still see them on Friday? Yeah, if they come to my home. It's closed, the clinic is closed. If they come to my home, I do it. Somebody can go to your house and get treatment? If they are emergency. For 40 cents? <laughs> if it's emergency, do you raise up the price higher? No. No, still 40 cents. Still 40 cents. What if he doesn't have any money at all? I will give it free. Free? Yeah. Okay, I know where I want to go to get doctored up. And we we're with our Dr. Anwar Hussain here in the lovely part of India. Those of you who didn't know where we are, we're in India. And you know, we've been enjoying the beauty of this part of the world in the cleanliness. I find it so clean here. And do you feel that this is a clean part of the world to live in? It is the best part of the world to live in. It's the best. Maybe not the cleanliest. But the best. The best. Yeah, well, uh, we know now where to get a good deal on being doctored up. That's a good thing. And uh, inshallah, we'll have opportunity to be with you again. Inshallah. And uh, we pray for you and for all of your, your uh, you don't call them customers, you call them patients, don't you? Yeah, patients. Patients. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had patience with us today that we could bring you to Bridge to Faith and talk about what's going on in here in this place called what? Maypari. Maypari. Yeah. And e -P -P -A -D -Y. And if anybody would like to come and join him over here, just uh, follow up and he can uh, give you a prescription on how to get here. <laughs> 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 Till next time, I'm Bridge to Faith. This is Yusuf Estes telling you that there's only one God and we pray for him to guide all of us. Amen. Well, here we are. This is the place to be healed, the family clinic. And this is Dr. Anwar Hussain, right here on Bridge to Faith. There's so much hair, there's so much beauty in this land, this land of incredible India. But what makes it incredible is not the beautiful coconut palms, even though they're lovely, but what makes it beautiful, and it's really not all the greenery and the jungles and elephants and monkeys. We saw monkeys too, by the way. But what makes India so special is the people. One of our beloved teachers of Islam, he's in a place called Jeddah, Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. I was telling you, the Sheikh, he came to India with us you know what he said? He said that in India is the best place for Muslims to share the message of Islam, to call the people to the truth of Islam. I said, India? Why did you say India? He said, don't you look at the people. It doesn't matter about their faith. Look at the people the way they are. These people are innocent. They're innocent. I thought about it. And since he said that two months ago, I have been observing the people all the way from Mumbai to Bangalore, to Chennai, to Mangalore, and to here in Kerala, all over Calicut. You know Calicut? Anybody from Calicut? Anybody? MashaAllah. There you are. So, everywhere I went, I watched how nice the people are. And nobody's worried about, are you a Muslim? Are you a Hindu? Are you a Christian? You know what? They're just being kind and sweet. The sweetness and the innocence of the people makes them a good candidate, a good candidate for the truth. Because when a person is innocent, they already have one of the ingredients of Islam. One of the ingredients of Islam is this purity, this beautiful purity. When Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was explaining to us the condition, the condition of a person in Islam, he told us to look to the children, the children. He said, every child 
is born on the fitra of Al Islam. Every child is born on the fitra of Al Islam. He even said that when little children die, regardless of the religion of the parents, the child is innocent, so they go to paradise. The child goes to be with Allah. I want you to think about that. When you're talking to people that are not Muslim, ask them a question. Ask them, according to the teachings of your religion, what will happen to my children, my Muslim children, if they die without your religion? And see what they tell you. Because I can honestly say to them, when your children die, regardless of your religion, they go to paradise because they're innocent. They're innocent. And this is what one of the ingredients to make up a Muslim. Some people asked me about Islam. In fact, it happened in a strange way. I was on a radio show in Florida. And the lady hosting the show, she was attacking Islam in front of me. And she had a book written by a very bad person. And she was reading from the back of the book. Blah, 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 terrorism, blah, 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 killing people, blah, blah, blah. So many things. I said, this is not Islam. This suicide bombers. I said, this is not Islam. And when we were leaving, we were off the air. She made the people think she's an expert, okay? The people think, oh, this lady, she's an expert. When the microphone is off, she said to me, oh, I wanted to ask you a question. I wanted to ask you, are you one of the Muslims or are you one of the Islamics? Can you imagine this? I explained, look, Islam means five things. Islam is surrender to Allah. Obedience to Allah. Submission to Allah. And this sincerity to Allah. And when you have these four, then all you need is one more, peace. To be at peace with whatever Allah gives you. Because if you can be in peace in the good times and in the hard times, remembering Allah, then you have achieved your Islam. She stared at me like, is that? What's that? I said, yes. Well, what about Muslims? I said, look. Arabic, you put mu, mu in front of the action. We say in English, walk, walker, talk, talker, jump, jumper, think, thinker, stink, stinker. Well, anyway, you get the idea. So it amazed me she doesn't know what she's talking about and I'm saying to her look in Arabic we put mu in front of the verb we say adhan mu adhan suffer mu suffer salli mu salliin so if somebody is doing Islam listen to me if somebody is believing in God and they want to do what God wants them to do, the word in Arabic is Islam. And the one doing it is a Mu Islam. Muslim. Say Muslim. I can't hear you. Muslim. Louder. Real loud. A louder. Muslim. Yeah, this is it. When the lady hears this, she's like, huh? So anybody, anybody who really wants to know about Allah, wants to know about God, they want to do what God wants them to do, maybe they have another quality 
of being Muslim. The problem, the problem is most of the people are not able to make the difference between Islam and what some Muslims do. Because not everybody with the name Muslim is really doing Islam. We can look and see the actions of many people. Many. And we can say, that's not Islam. That's not Islam. That's not Islam. But that doesn't mean there's something wrong with Islam. It means something wrong with the person. The other thing that is important for us to remember is the customs, traditions, and ignorance of some people. Some people are ignorant. They don't know. Some are following customs, traditions that are not Islam. And then there are some who don't really want to follow the real Islam. They like what they have. But again, we don't blame that on Islam. This is what some Muslims do. When we talk about faith, this is something that very often we find that when we analyze it and explain it to each other, that we're a lot closer in faith than we thought we were. As a matter of fact, I recall somebody telling me that they were one religion, and another person said they were a different religion from that. And as we all sat together and talked, it turned out we all pretty much believed the same thing, that there really is one God, and He's the Creator, and He's the Sustainer, He's the one that provides everything for us, and we should do what He wants us to do and follow His orders and commandments. It's only when we get down to that human idea of what faith is about where people start to tell us about the church the temple the synagogue or the mosque and why we should do it according to this particular leader's ideas that's really when we start thinking our faiths are that different but in any case this was another chance for us to talk about our bridge to faith and i hope and i pray that as we say in arabic inshallah god willing that all of us will have a chance to get to that real bridge to faith.